Hello mate and welcome back to Let's Code 4, this time it's personal. In this episode we're probably going to do quite a bit, we've got a lot of code to write so without further ado let's jump straight into this then. If you remember in the last episode we were halfway through writing our default interaction label so let's carry on writing that. So the first thing that we've highlighted here is the show the image for interaction which makes sense because we want that to kind of pop up on the screen before anything else so the, it's easy enough to do that so we just simply say show we have to make sure we're clicking the window show image and we can just copy this let's be honest let's just copy that control c and we're just going to control v that there with dissolve like so happy days so the next thing we need to do is we need to actually look at our archetypes because if you remember in the previous episode we added an archetype property to our mpc so every character now has an archetype or a string attached to them which is fairly simple and what we need to do now is we actually need to define our archetype so what we can do is create a list of lists so first thing we need to do is obviously define our archetypes list so we're going to say default archetypes and we're just going to make that an empty list for now and then in this section what we can do is archetypes dot append and then we can define what we want our archetype to be. The first value in every one of our archetype uh, lists is going to be the name of the archetype. So let's just say um, what kind of archetype do we want. And th this is where we can have a bit of fun. We can give them some interesting names. First archetype will be Sporty. And we can give it a more glamorous name later on. Now what we need to do is add I'm going to say two different types of interactions based on the uh, character. Or maybe we just say three. Let's say three. Let's be generous and give them three. So we've got these properties listed here. So a sporty person is going to respond well to physical uh, because that encompasses working out and they may respond well to something else. And we've only got the currently these number of interactions, but we can add more of those later on. So we can actually think of some interesting uh, things here. So we can say healthy could be another type of interaction. And let's say, what do sporty people often do? In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll put neutral in because I think neutral is gonna be one that everybody responds to like that so that's our first archetype sporty so we can copy that and go paste that a few times give ourselves a handful sporty now we can have um geeky or nerdy or something like that we'll just give it that name for now so they're not going to respond well to physical they're going to respond more to uh intellectual Uh, probably not going to be so bothered about healthy. And I think with regards to our version of Geek, again, we're trying not to be too stereotypical here, but what I want to do is I'm going to give them some kind of trollish kind of behavior so that you know, the geeky kind of person who sits behind the keyboard, keyboard warriors kind of type of person, that kind of individual. Uh, what I also need is some kind of DOM archetype. So they're going to be into uh, physical, but probably quite aggressive as well. Like that. And then if we've got Dom, we need submissive as well. And we can give these more, more kind of interesting names further down the line. But for now, I'm just kind of outlining them. So we've got someone who's very domineering and someone who's very submissive, which means that a submissive person is probably going to be equally as into physical but probably now let's have a think they might actually the dom probably won't respond as well to aggression that's probably more what the sub will be interested in they will probably be more interested in bearing in mind that we're approaching this from the position of a person who is interacting with the dom as an equal and not as a sub so they probably won't respond to someone being aggressive toward them but they might be more interested in emotional activity with people that are on their level and not below them 
where our subs will appreciate physical and aggressive towards them. Now I'm thinking about physical in this one as well. I'm not 100% sure that that matches, but what we'll do is we'll leave it with four archetypes for now. And we'll come back to these further down the line because we don't currently have a whole lot of interactions either. So we can have a bit of a play with that later on. But what we need to do now is assign these to these characters. So who am I, who's going to be my sporty ones? So we need probably two. So let's just say Sally's going to be our first sporty one. And we'll have uh, Lucy can be our next sporty one. Geeky can be Jenny and... Laura, Dom, that's obviously going to be Miss Hamilton. And let's give Samantha that property as well. And then submissive, we're going to give to these two losers here, like so. And then we can save that. So now we've assigned these uh, archetypes to these characters. Next thing we need to do is come back into our default interaction screen. And now we need to figure out what the correct values are going to be for those as in is the person we have selected what archetype do they have and how are they going to respond to the button click and in order to make this easier what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new value so we come to our defaults and defines and we have selected what i'm also going to do is have default action selected that's going to be minus one as well and then in our contextual default, I'm actually going to enumerate this. So I'm going to say i comma q in enumerate interact buttons. And that's going to return an integer value. So now we can say, in fact, let's just set variable. Get that done and dusted, and then we can come back to our defaults to find, copy that value, come back to our contextual, and in there we're going to put that. So we're setting that value, and that's going to be i. So now what we have is this value being set in there. So at the beginning of our game loop, we need to set that to zero, and we also need to set selected. No, we won't. We'll do it in the interaction. There we go. So we're going to. Now we've got our two values. So we're going to first of all check that we actually have a person selected, which we've already done in order to get into this screen. So now what we can do is we can say if MP sees. And we've got a selected. So that's how we address our uh, the NPC that we've got selected dot and we just make sure whether this is capital or not no it's not so we're going to say archetype is the same as back into our defaults and defines our archetypes is capital A archetypes and then action selected Actually, what we need to do, sorry, having a bit of a brain fart there, Python, we need to create a Python block, and then we need to run through a list of archetypes. But what we need to do is actually change the way we define those, because this is just gonna get messy if we don't. So what we need to do is come back into our defaults and defines, and I'm just gonna identify these, hashtag zero, oops. Hashtag one, hash two, hash three. And what we're going to do instead of writing them as strings, we're actually going to give them integer values. So zero is our sporty. And then geeky is one. So we'll get rid of that and place that with a one. And Dom is two, so we'll get rid of these values here. We'll give that a two and a two, and then this one will be three and three. Cool. So the reason we've done that, I know it makes it a little bit harder to read because we are now trying to uh, use integer values, but they just correspond to the list of archetypes. And the reason we're doing that is just makes it a whole of, a whole lot easier to address these to reference them 
then having to compare strings in lists, it just becomes messy and clunky and nobody wants that. So this is the way we're gonna do it. Coming back to our default interactions file, let's start this bit of code from scratch. So we know what character we've got selected. We've got an integer value for that, which means we can directly reference the uh, character's archetype. So we can say, uh, npcs dot uh, open brackets and then selected close that there the archetype so that's now an integer value so we can use that another if check statement sorry i'm going around in circles here because i'm thinking and coding at the same time on the fly trying to think of the best way of doing this so what we need to do is say if and then we need to reference what button we have clicked on. So coming back to our defaults and defines, we've got interact buttons. We're going to just select that, come in here. If interact buttons, action selected. Dot. And then we have to remember what that property is called. So we're going to have to come back to our action button. UI button and then types. So we'll copy that. Is in archetypes and reference that integer value. So what we're saying is if you have selected a button which the character matches on its archetype, then we're going to say that our value increase is going to be plus otherwise it's going to be minus so that's cool and all we all we have to do here is create a value called a skill multiplier or something like that so we'll say skill multiplier currently default that oops helps if we type that correctly multiplier equals zero and we'll copy that there and we're going to paste that in there and because we're no longer in a Python block, we have to add the dollar sign. Multiplier equals plus one, not one. Else, copy this line of code here. And it's going to be minus one. Happy days. And of course, bearing in mind that we are dealing with uh, low level coding. So let's just simplify this a little bit more and we'll give ourselves a value and we'll call it uh, tire, we'll call it arc int equals. Then we will just simply copy that chunk of code there, get that out of there, put that in there, stick that in there. And that just simplifies things. So you're now, so you're now referencing, you're taking the integer value of the archetype of the selected character, putting that into another variable and then we're just using that variable in here. And now what we're doing is we're checking our list there and we're saying, is this value, is whatever action we've got selected, the, is the type of action that we've got selected contained within the archetype of the character we have selected? If it is, then whatever points we're going to add to the stat is going to be positive. If it's not, then it's going to have a negative effect instead. So that's a little bit convoluted, but that's how it's going to work. So that means that we can now remove that line there because we have now made the decision. The next item on our agenda is to adjust what stat is going to be adjusted. But I think we're probably going to leave it at that in this video only because we have done quite a lot and this is a, a, a sort of a lot of roundabout thinking, a lot of uh, high, high level concept that we need to uh, wrap our heads around in this one. So what I would advise you to do is have a read through, maybe watch the video a couple of times and just try and wrap your head around what we've done and why we've done it this way. And then we can move on to the next video. Thanks very much for watching that. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye bye.